Welcome back to Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic. I'm Hunter Black Luna, and we're here at Javier's Cantina to clear up the last little bits on Terrace before we leave this planet. Which we might even get to in this part. We could play some Pizak, but we could also not play Pizak. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in. And I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base, and right to the Ebon Hawk. We can go right now. I have a few things to take care of first, Candorous. Fair enough, but don't take too long. As soon as you're ready to get inside Davik's estate, come speak to me. The sooner we get off this rock, the better. We're in agreement about that. Just got one thing to do at the bounty office, man. And then, then yeah, I'm pretty much done with this place permanently. Hey, Zax. Yeah, it is kind of ironic, isn't it? Oh, come on, man. It's Bindak freaking Starkiller. Thanks for the money, man. Maybe it's easier to persuade him if you kill one of the bigger ones, like both Selvan and Bendag. I convinced him to pay me more because, well, you know, it was a little more difficult than murdering defenseless women. I should know because I do that other thing in my first period. Whatever. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, so yeah, let's go. Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on. I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. Sounds good to me. Alright, we're definitely taking Candorus, who is our actual first evil party member. And one of only two party members that start out evil. Who else to take? Uh, Bastila would be great just to have some good old Jedi muscle behind us. Karth's always pretty useful. Mission's got the skills. I don't know, what skills do we need? I have computer skill and repair. The only thing she really has on us is pretty much demolitions and security. And we can work our way around those problems. Yeah, we're taking... I don't know, this isn't really a big decision. Let's go with... Ah, the force powers. I gotta go with the force powers. Oh, and Bastila too. Meanwhile... You summoned me, Lord Malak. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taras. Destroy the entire planet. Rape a few kittens while you're at it. The entire planet, Lord Malak. But there are billions of people on Taras. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of... of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. 
Jedi mind trick, everybody. Yes, Lord Malak. What a capricious move. I always felt Star Wars handled destroying planets a little too cavalier. I mean, like, billions of people. That would be the sort of shit that changed everything. So, Candorous, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorous. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cath hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorous has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Davak. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. You know, Candorous was right. The Exchange is always looking for new talent. You could have a bright future with our organization. With the recommendation from Candorous and a thorough background check, you could become part of the Exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Literally. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. Wonder where they could have gone. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. Great. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I'm sure. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callo. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. I completely agree. Especially since we have knowledge that yeah. the characters don't, thanks to that little insight onto the bridge of the... Uh, what's it called? It has the same name as a, uh, quote-unquote modern Imperial ship. The, uh... It's the one with the gravity well generators that interferes with a hyperspace jump. And it does the same thing. Or at least that's one of its abilities, I think. So, yeah, Candorous. He's evil. He is a heavy weapons guy. It costs 400,000 credits to fire his weapon for 12 seconds. And he's really good at firing his weapon. Could give him improved toughness. That never goes too bad. I don't know. Implant's always cool. Let's go with implant. Might as well. As you can see, he's evil because... Well, yeah, he is kind of evil. Mandalorians in general... Kind of evil. Just gonna say it. He has Ordo's Repeating Blaster, which is very BA, and it's also upgradable. That helps. Uh, he doesn't really use Dexterity that much, so let's load him up with some light battle armor. No 
none of these will benefit him particularly. I have an energy shield, man. Yeah, and a belt. A <laughs> complimentary belt for joining up. Huh? Uh, I've got the plus two to dexterity for it. And if you look at Candrus's character sheet, he's got decent strength. Hmm. Most of his stats are in constitution and wisdom, though. He's kind of tanky. Especially compared with us squishies. That's cool. Bastel is along as usual, as I mentioned, because of, you know, Jedi powers. It's fairly simple. So, we're supposed to stay here for a couple days, but... I am not a terribly patient person. First, let's go visit the slaves. Welcome to the slave quarters, fair mistress. I mean no disrespect, but perhaps one of the male slaves could serve your needs better. What do you mean? Haha. <laughs> Would you like a Haha. <laughs> uh... Of course. I really don't think we have time for this, guys. We do have time to steal from the slaves, however. And then we'll just be on our way. Davik's got a pretty nice place here. So, let's proceed to bother the other guests. Oh. <sighs> and phase through the door. Ah. So he just doesn't mind that we still take his stuff. Alright. Hey, I'm not gonna pick a fight if you don't mind us robbing you blind, man. Next. Ooh, this one's empty. We've got no one with skills here. But we do have a lot of blunt force in our party. Either physical blunt force with Candace, or with the attitude of bluntness, which both these people have. Man. I'm hey, here. Bastila, get over here. Take a crack at it. That friggin' lightsaber. We're doing a little better. I don't know. In KOTOR 2, you can open doors and shit, and the lightsaber just stab it in and fry the controls. All that for so little game. What? I'm sure there's a moral lesson to be learned here somewhere. What is it? Beats me. Ah! Open up, bitch! Ah! Hey! What's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here or I'll call the guards. Pudu! Tony Rama na praka donko tsercha! Chupa punky! You should have picked an easier target. By the time the guards show up, they're gonna have to take you out of here in pieces. And no dark side points, because he's an evil man. I don't know, he's gonna be dead. Someone. Thank you. And then the guards show up. They're not too bad, though. I just like that. All right, let's loot his stuff. <laughs> the world's just so morally gray now. It used to be so simple. You help an old man by giving him a hundred dollars so he doesn't get killed by a crime lord. But nowadays, there's all these other decisions to be made, man. Davik has a throne room. My God. That's about all you need to know about him. He has a friggin' throne room, and I bet he uses it regularly, too, to receive audiences. Because he's that kind of guy. He's, he's that kind of classy guy. Oh. Yeah, Kander, he's just shoot him. You are already dead. Hold 
up, hold up, hold up. Ah. Whatever. Fuck him up. You can use the computer console to kill some of these people. I wonder why the droids made person noises. Anyway, security console. We got plenty of spikes, plenty of skill. Open security doors. Hangar security is what we need to get out, but we'll figure out how to do that without using eight friggin' spikes. There's the spice lab. Huh. And Davik has his estate wired to become a gas chamber in any room he feels like. You know, why does that actually not surprise me? Also, there were droids in there, so uh, I'm sure the poison gas would have taken them, you know, right out of commission. Oh, I can't gas the spice lab. I <laughs> gas the throne room. Now that's not a surprise that, ooh, the quote-unquote guest room. We'll have to swing by there and help the torture victim. And there's the hangar with the Ebon Hawk. Ebon Hawk's totally ours, guys. We just need to move in and take possession. Anyway, let's get to gassing. Again, because I'm a hero like that. Ah, ah, ah. Back's in the hangar. Oh. There you go. Could kill these people regularly, but there's more EXPs in it for me this way. That should about do it. Go ahead and open security doors, I guess. Might as well since we don't have any security skill. It's only a spike. That has a decent amount of XPs. I'm here. Alright. Let's beast mode up Bastila. Get moving. I took off the blur effect that happens when you use force speed too. Just a personal thing. Hmm. You know what, Bastila? There are times when, for the greater good, the Jedi has to sacrifice the self. See? Barely touched you. That frag mine. It's just another obstacle in your mind of the force and stuff. Alright. The uh, guest room is up there. Which means that's not the... That's the door I want. Oh. Hey, Bastila. Oh. That's not a droid, that's a person. I don't know, it looked similar in a profile, I don't know. <laughs> right on his ass. Didn't do too much, but it made me feel better. Oh, he's a tough guy. He took a round or two. What? And thanks to the security camera views, you can kind of tell where things are. Like, this should be one of the rooms we gassed. You? I don't know, wiring your own barracks to be gassed. I don't know, Dabig. Kind of a questionable decision. If anyone were allowed to question you. A computer pass card. I could have waited for that, I suppose. If I'd remembered. Remembered. <laughs> huh. I thought there was supposed to be an angry guest in here. And again, maybe one of my mods just removed him or something. I don't even know. Oh, wow. That's a big chunk of money. Which we will, of course, use only to defend the Republic and the people. Get him, guys. Master of yes. Oh, goodness. Flamethrower. Oh. power time, Master. Oh. 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 Oh.
up, guys. Yeah, we got through that, more or less. I'm here. No, let's just wait. I'm here. Bastila does have the infinite HP, pretty much. Alright. We got all the loot. What? Thank you. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tangible anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security Bastila, system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. Nice. Thank you. It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have to get out of this base before that happens. Good luck, man. Glad we could do a little good work. We've got what we came for. We should get going. Once again, I'm in full agreement. What Candace. can I do? Bastil has had time to reinvent some force points. It's interesting to me that Cure is a light side ability, but it takes so many force points. Imagine if you were on the dark side. I bet healing would just be a bitch. Man, are we hurt. Alright, let's consult the map. There's not much left. We can clear out the spice lab, and by clear it out, I mean go in there, murder everyone, and take their stuff. Burst of speed is wonderful. I don't remember if it gives you an extra attack yet. So it gives me enough to kill these random... They're called guards, but I suspect they're actually the people who are... Hey, do I have Chemists. Take that, chemistry. It's the devil's work anyway. That's it? You'd think the spice lab would have better loot, you know what I'm saying? Tell you what, me. Have another bit of healing. Is there anything else at all to do? Uh, yeah, there's a little bit, but we can get it down there. Uh, the speed ran out already? I'm disappointed. What? Let's pop one more med pack just to be sure. This should be another barracks that we gassed, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Man, Davik must be used to some pretty wild parties if he doesn't hear all the... Well, basically the war that's going on in his house. Alright, and that just leads to the throne room. So, we've successfully cleared the whole place out, everybody. Good job. To the hangar! All right. Well, there's a panel right here, so that's fine. Access card. Disable hangar security. <coughs> Good stuff. We can sneak out before Dev. Damn no Sith! They're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or... Well, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turned the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. All right. I believe you need to take out Kalo Nord to win the fight. He is the tougher guy. But we can do some things to mitigate his life. Give that a try, yes. Bastila. Yeah, it just kind of lets you hit someone with a lightsaber from far away. Good. A little bit. 
You may have me outnumbered and outgunned, but if I'm going down, I'm taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Oh shit. Damn those shit. They'll bring this whole hangar down around our ears. Well, couldn't happen to a nicer guy, Calo. Davik was also killed thanks to the story. We get mouse stimulant, battle stimulant, Arcanian shield, Davik's war suit, which is kind of cool. Might give it to Karth or something just for the what? rolls. Whoa. Whoa. Now it's time to GTFO, everybody. I'm gonna save because there's some cutscenes coming up. I'm really sorry that I can't show them to you. It's, it's the game. It's kind of an old game. See you when we're somewhere safe. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. Meanwhile, in the Fortress of Doom... Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. And no one on the entire ship has a problem. Yep. <sighs> Crashed a couple times Plot there. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi enclave there where we can find refuge. Find refuge from the bugs. Incoming fighters! Whoa. Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. So the minigame. Are we crashing again, KOTOR? Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Hold together, baby. Fuck! Let's try this again. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Incoming crashes. Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. No, really, bro. I'm not even kidding. This thing is fucking crashing all the time. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, baby, just hold together. Fuck. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. By the way, he's evil. Just in case we're wondering. Oh fuck it, finally. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. I just disabled all movies, guys, which actually works. And suddenly, it's Rogue Squadron. Like I said, I had to disable all movies completely. The game is crashing a lot. I mean, a lot. Right here. Couldn't take it. There's a mod to take these out of the game. I'd recommend it if you think they're annoying. I sure as fuck do. The only thing I like about this sequence is because you don't see cutscenes, this is the only chance you have to get a good look at Terrace as we flee. Oh wow, that's such bullshit. I hate this so much. Man, even the pod racing don't compare to this shit. But you can see the world burning and blowing up and the Sith fleet around it. So that's good at least. Bullshit minigame. Too much. Ah, oh, we made it everybody. Dantooine. It seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. 
There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of the entire planet. I know Meshun must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I will meet you outside the ship. We haven't even landed yet, Bastila. I've spoken briefly with the Council. Oh. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come, they're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council Chambers. Alright. Welcome to Dantooine, everybody. The Jedi Enclave. We can be at peace here, for a little bit at least. All the crashing and technical glitches should just be done. I wish I could show you the cutscenes. I really do, but... Ain't happening. There we go. We can chill out here for a while before we go back out into the harsh world. And then we'll go see what the Jedi Council could possibly want with little old us. I guess that'll be next time on Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic. See you then.